Good morning, French class. All right, today, deep dive, quick review on articles, right? These are the fun words, right? You've got your definite ones. That's all the ways in which you can say the in French, like your le, right, for something that is masculine and singular, right? You've got your la for something that's feminine and singular. Your le, whether it's masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. It's going to be the for that plural thing. And then el apostrophe if you're going in front of a vowel. You know all this stuff, right? That's all the ways you say the with your definite article. It's defined. Your indefinite articles are more nebulous, right? They're a little bit less understood. A, an, or some is how we do those in English. It's your un. In French, you get your une for something that's feminine and singular. You get your de, whether it's feminine or masculine, it's going to be plural, and that's what we're doing there. So those are your definite, your indefinite, right? Your thes, your a ands, your sums. French does this partitive thing. In English, we've got any and we've got some that we use, but to make that happen in French, you've got to be thinking about the partitive article, which looks like this, de la, du, and de, elle, apostrophe. If you're dealing with a feminine noun, masculine noun, or any noun that is singular that starts with a vowel, if it's plural, de, that is your sum, that is your any. Now, when we think about sum and any, we can think about wanting these things with your verb vouloir, and one of the things you can want a lot of, right, hey, Pizza, right? Who doesn't want pizza? Tu veux la pizza, right? Here's the thing. Do you want any pizza? Do you want some pizza? Part of the article, right? Carl doesn't want pizza. He right? doesn't like it, and he's going to go, no, je n'aime pas la pizza. So definite article here, meaning that in general, right, if we're thinking pizza at all, right, Carl doesn't want it. Je n'aime pas la pizza in general. And we're like, Carl, you know what? C'est pas grave, right? Not a big deal, Carl. Parce que nous n'avons pas de pizza. What we're doing here is we're negating. If you negate a partitive, you just go straight to the de. Right? We've done this in class. You've seen this before. Nous n'avons pas de pizza. Another example. Right? Back to our boy Carl. Carl adore les bonbons. Right? In general, general terms, all things candy. Carl loves candy. Carl adore les bonbons. Right? And so, of course, Carl veut acheter des bonbons. Right? He wants to go to like... Walgreens. He wants to go someplace. He wants to buy some candy. He's not going to buy all the candy, right? Carl achète les bonbons. That he's going. He's buying all the candy. He's not all that. Carl doesn't have the means to do that. But Carl veut acheter des bonbons, some candies. But poor Carl. He goes to Walgreens and il n'y a pas de bonbons, right? There's no candies there, right? We negated it. We negated a part of it. It went to the de. So recap: definite the. Le, la, le, et apostrophe. Indefinite, a, and some, un, une, des. And when we get to the partitive, right, that's where you have the du, the de, la, the de, et apostrophe, or the de. And remember, whenever you negate a partitive, when you negate one of these, it just goes straight to the de. If you're saying, yeah, but there's not any, I don't want any, je ne veux pas de pizza, we're going to the de. Do the post exercise. There's a resource on Google Classroom. Check that out. See if you have any questions and show me your stuff on the post exercise. A demain.